Hello, Hagerstown women. This is the part of our TED Talk when we stand up and we break into dance. Some salsa, anyone? <laughs> For me, I want to share with you a story about fires and what it means. In different areas of life and in history and for people, fires represent many things. A place of gathering where we come together as a community to share stories and just to be with each other. A place where elderly share and impart their wisdom to the younger generations. In war, a place of strategizing, finding ways to combat the enemy or a tool for cooking, for hunting. In its essence, fire is the force of nature and can cause massive and rapid destruction. But for me, it is a driving force. It's a force that wakes me up at night, that brought me here, that when I missed my warm island or the subway sounds of the Bronx, it kept me going. For me, it was my children, it was my parents, and now my grandchildren. They remind me why I have to keep going, why I cannot stop, why I have to lead the way from, for others. It's also an idea, this idea that I have burning inside that when I share with people, I light up and it keeps me up at night because I just keep dreaming of what it would look like when it comes to fruition and how many lives it's going to impact. For me, my fire is a place, a place that reminds me of the people that love me and where I came from. It's like when I walk, when I drive up to New York and I see the George Washington Bridge, I all of a sudden kind of like lean back a little bit. That subway station reminds me, you know, to channel my inner J-Lo the attitude of a Bronx girl just comes out oozy. It's when I cross the Caribbean and I land on an island full of culture and rich food, and I have that burning sun from Puerto Rico just diving down on me, and I hear a voice, my mother, reminding me that she is Nitsa, the OG, and that my name is Nitsa Liz. But I ask you, what is the fire that drives you? What keeps you going? What wakes you up at night? More importantly, how do you use that light to light the path for others? And I challenge you to ask yourself a deeper question. What happens when your light is dimming, when your flames are running low? How do you fuel the fire within? Earlier this month, I was faced with frustration. I wanted to advocate and share what I was experiencing and didn't know where or to whom. I called this friend of mine Ironically, we crossed paths in school. I was exiting and she was entering. We have never worked together. And I said, hey girl, look, I need your help. I need some tips for um, public speaking, the irony. I need, I'm facing this challenge. I, I know you advocated, I know you stood in front of many and shared what you were experiencing and how you were fearful and how you were frustrated. I need that. All of a sudden, she stays quiet and I'm over here like, come on, I'm ready, give it to me. And she says, Nita, did you forget who you are? Did you forget your purpose? You have a gift. You have the ability to be a voice for those that do not have it, that cannot stand up for each other, for themselves. You were born to speak up. Man, did that shake me up from the inside. 
sometimes as women, we are putting out so many fires at home with children and business, in our community, with our families. And sometimes our flames run low. And what do we do? We find a friend to nurture our flames. We find the friend that is going to remind us of who we are. Today, if any of you are running low, if your flames are dimming, if your light is not shining, let me be that person. Let me be the person to tell you, keep fighting. Don't you dare give up. You are a warrior. Call it whatever you want. Call it determination, grit. Call it perseverance, or in some cases, just pure stubbornness. <laughs> but you must keep going. Not you should, not you could, none of that. You must keep going. If you find yourself needing someone to fuel your fire, let me be the one to remind you, you were born to burn bright. Thank you so much. Thank you.